Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Haikyuu Season 3, Episode 4, and last episode, Total Defense Suit. <sighs> we got the Total Defense down, man. Um, Suki was able to figure out the timing of the, you know, the blocking and stuff, and then they jumped, and then Ushibaka spiked, and then Moya received it, and then... I gave my set it to Suki and then he scored them like yay. It's so, so awesome. Like it was so awesome. I loved it. And yeah, so before we get into this episode, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash mini. And now let's start this episode of uh, episode. And here we go. Oh yeah, and then Suki, like, he annoyed him. Ah, I love that part too. Total defense. Ah. <laughs> the halo around the moon. I know, right? Mobbing? Okay. So, Ushiwaka is the bigger predator, I guess. To start a defense. What do I feel like? The fact that he said that it means it's not gonna work out. <laughs> Bro, they, they had to get used to it. They thought he was out, but he wasn't. Be courageous warriors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Suki. Suki. <sighs> Suki! <laughs> oh my gosh, Suki! <sighs> this was like his episode, man. Like, like everybody else was doing was doing amazing things and everything, but like yo, like he was planning on this. He was waiting for it. Keeps he, they kept pressuring their setter, kept pressuring him, pressuring him, pressuring him, and then came to the point where he got so frustrated that he like he didn't set properly, and then that was like the opportunity that Suki needed when they like showed them jumping up, and he was who was beside him. I don't know. I feel like it was as many, but I'm not sure. Like when they jumped and you saw this little window in between them two and then you saw Ushiwaka they about, clearly about to spec through that middle thing and I'm like he's gonna do this and block it and he didn't block it and then when they showed that flashback of when he like asked uh, oh I forget his name <laughs> you're gonna beat myself up for having to Look up his name. I'm like, yo, how can I forget his name? Oh gosh. But that's not his name. Bokuto. Oh my gosh. When he asked, like, Bokuto, like, during the training session, and he asked Bokuto and uh, Kuro and everything about, like, like, baseball, volleyball. And uh, when Bokuto told him that there was this particular woman where he did something, I think he was saying something about him, people, the other team always like receiving his, I don't know if it was his straight or his crosses or something or other, and then he was able to do the straight properly or something or other, and that was the moment that he uh, like fell in love in volleyball, and he told Suki that there's going to be that one moment where he's going to fall in love with it, and this was that moment, man. 
Like this was it. He did it. And the way he like let out that shout. And everybody else was like, yeah. so much oh my gosh Suki look he planned it man he was waiting for it the fact that he was waiting for it for so long first of all they were just like trying to adjust to um Suki uh, Ushiwaka's like strength and spikes and everything but you know they're saying that that's not even his like he's not going 100% it's only like 70% or something or other and they were just like trying to, they did the total defense properly, you know, kept pressuring. And then the dam broke. I <sighs> love this. That second set, oh my gosh, you were just like going on, like, it felt like forever and ever and ever and ever. They kept trying to, I believe it needed to be like two points, like, right? They needed to be a, like two different point, a difference of two point before you can win the set. But it's like this one will go and this one will catch up. This one will go and this one will catch up. It's like they brought in their um, um what's it called, pink server. <laughs> when the pink server did his uh, his server and then they scored a point off of that, and I'm like, oh, how must Yamaguchi be feeling? Because when he went in last time, he he, he got back out. Like he didn't like we didn't score when he came back in when he came in as a pink server. So when this dude like went in and then they scored, and I'm like, oh, how is he feeling in this particular moment? But then the second time around, he didn't score, so he went back out. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm loving this so much. What has happened? I don't know. I just love Suki. Man, the way he was smiling. Like he was smiling, man. And then when he told um Kinaka was about to go in, right? And then he told him that when when he serves that the other guys were gonna do some kind of quick or something or other and then he should do something else and I don't know. But like whatever advice he gave Hinata, like it worked perfectly. He's so smart. Suki's so smart. Mm, I feel like I don't remember anything else apart from Suki being able to block Ushiwaka, man. Did anything else happen? Here I am, like, just, like, scrolling, like, through it, like, really quickly, and all I see is, like, Suki's determined face, his analyzing face, whether he's in the court. Like on the court or outside the court, looking at me and like what's going on. He was just like analyzing stuff, man. <sighs> love this. I love it so much. Love it. Suki, you were awesome. You were awesome this episode. Like awesome. And even after that, he's like, guys, this is it's just like one point. But I'm like, yo, that one point, it, it meant like everything. Meant so much. Love this. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and please consider supporting on patreon at patreon.com slash mini if you want to see the next episode where well, you can so by checking it out there and you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye na, 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 na. Suki.